In this video, I'm gonna tackle if it's better for your CPU to install the AIO in front of the case as intake instead of the usual top install. I'm gonna check the CPU thermals and core clocks as well as the GPU thermals and shutter clock speed. Also, to help the channel grow, please consider subscribing to it. For testing, I'm going to use the Arctic Liquid Freezer Free 240 ARGB in a Leon Lee Lancool 2 mesh case. The CPU used is the 7800X3D and the GPU a Sapphire Pulse 7900XTX with a power slit to 115%, meaning that it's topping at almost 420 watts. For more information, check the video description if you are interested to see the fans used as well. Now, let me show you the fan curve used for the test. I start with the best one for the AIO installed in the front. I'm using fan control to set the fan curves. My recommendation is, if you have both intake fans, remove them. Or, if you like the looks, set them to low RPM. In mixed workloads, like gaming, having this fan spinning at high RPM pushes the hot air exhaust by the GPU to the top, thus increasing CPU temperature by a few degrees. I set the intake fans to 65% fan speed as this way the AIO and the GPU will always have ample airflow. Contrary to what you may believe, I tied these intake fans to the GPU hotspot or GPU temperature. I am doing so because if the GPU becomes hot, it exhausts hot air and I want fresh air from the front to push the warm air towards the back of the case so that the AIO doesn't pull warm air. Lastly, the rear exhaust fan, I have set it to 35% default speed and linked its speed again to the GPU. When the GPU gets hot, then I want the rear exhaust to remove as much hot air as possible. When the AIO is installed in the front, the button intake fans are essential for the GPU, as these are the only ones that will provide fresh air to it. The button intake fans need to spin fast, I would say that 1000 RPM at least. What becomes irrelevant is the rear exhaust fan. This one can be removed or set to a lower fan speed just for looks. The most important fans are the top exhaust, as these ones will pull all the hot air that the AIO will push inside the case and we don't want too much hot air reaching the GPU. I have them set at 60% fan speed, with the bottom intake fans at 95%, as these are silent fans that top at 1300 RPM. The top exhaust fans are linked to the CPU temperature, while the bottom ones are linked to the GPU hotspot. When it comes to CPU temperatures, as we can see in this chart, there is a small advantage for the front AIO installation when using the CPU burner from Formark. The results that you see on the screen, they were averaged from 4 runs. These results are not to be compared to my previous tests, as I changed the front intake fans, thus the setup is a bit different. Looking at the average clocks, based on Fermax CPU burner runs, we see again a minor advantage of 8 MHz for the front AIO installation. So, half of the grid thermal advantage brings 8 MHz more on all cores. And here you can see the logs from one CPU burner run for top and front I.O. installation. Feel free to pause the video. When it comes to gaming, I checked in Outcast 2 the CPU temperatures and the front installation enjoys a small advantage of almost 1.5 degrees Celsius when it comes to the thermals, but the CPU clock speeds seem to be more or less the same. Now, let's move to GPU temperatures and clocks and see if a front AIO installation is affecting the GPU in mixed loads like gaming. In this chart, we can see that the front AIO installation leads to an average GPU core temperature of 68.88, while the top installation reduces the average temperature by almost 3 degrees. When investigating the GPU shader speed, we can see that the top installation, due to a bit lower temps, enjoys an average of 7 MHz advantage, meaning that there isn't a performance drop when using the AIO installed in the front. Have a look at the Hardware Info 64 log for top and front installation while gaming. 
I checked for any performance difference in a total of 3 games and I reached the conclusion that you don't lose any performance choosing one installation over the other. And there you go. The best position for AIO boils down to where you have room for it. If I would have to choose, I will always go with a top installation over the front one as this reduces the temperature of the GPU in mixed workloads. Regardless of which position you choose to go with, you just need to define a good fan curve that is the balance between airflow and noise. If you found the video helpful, help the channel grow by subscribing, click the like button and drop a comment below. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.